what you said Sunday night about the All-Star game and guys having to pick it up. Um, did, did you hear from any of your peers about that afterwards, just beginning that discussion already about effort level at the next, at the next game? Nah, man, nah. Uh, I think that all of us were just, you know, we, we left the experience at the game, and then after that we were all looking forward to, you know, getting a break. So, um, you know, maybe that's a conversation for next year, conversation when we all can be in one spot, talk about it. What do you think of... Um, it happened right while you were still there. What do you think of the Cousins going to New Orleans? Um, man, it's a, it's crazy. It's crazy thinking about a front line like that with AD and uh, you know Demarcus uh, and that whole dynamic that they they're trying to form over in New Orleans. Um, but they became uh, you know de definitely a, a team of weapons now, and I, I know that uh, you know Demarcus is going to give it his all. I know I, I saw I think I saw an Instagram video or a video of how emotional it was for him to leave Sacramento. You know, so just going to shoot him a text probably later on. Just It's kind of weird because you don't know if you – it's a congratulatory text or is it like one of those texts where you just say, man, I hope you do well. And, you know, picking up and going somewhere totally different is a lot uh, for any human being. So uh, it'll be a big transition. But I'm, I'm happy for him, and I hope he does well in the world. Did you see Larry Sanders as well? Was he around you guys today? No. no. I actually didn't know he, he was working out until, uh, I think, Tuesday. Yesterday, excuse me. So yeah, no, I haven't seen him. Knowing his skill set and knowing the team the way that you do and how it's constructed, mm -hmm. what kinds of things would have to change for you guys? That kind of uh, I mean, I think I'll have a better answer for you when we, you know, we can come and get some practice. But I, I mean, I, you know, from playing against him for a few years, I did, um, you know, def definitely an athlete. Uh, it'll get rebounds and you know, you know, defensive prowess down in the paint. Um, you know, he was getting extremely better, and then he, you know, he signed that deal with Milwaukee, and you know, he was becoming one of the, you know, premier bigs in the league. Um, you know, so he showed some definitely some good signs. You, talk, uh, you also mentioned about having to, you know, raise your level of play mm -hmm. after the All Star break. The Chief, you know, you got Kevin's out, Jr. and the schedule's really hard. You know, in March. So what? What is a realistic expectation for this team to navigate the next month with all the injuries in the road? Uh, I think the best thing is to to realize uh, who we have. Um, you know what, what kind of pieces uh, we'll be adding, if so, ending tomorrow. I'm um, going to integrate them as best we can, and then uh, you know hold the fort down until we get all our guys back. That's the best thing we can do. Uh, you know, as one of the leaders of the team with bronze. Uh, you know, we, you know, Bron's always already been raising his play, uh, but I'm just trying to stay steady along with him and and lead these guys every single day. Uh, we understand that there's a, a huge journey coming up, coming up, uh, and into the season uh, is coming up as well. So we definitely got to move fast, but understanding that it's going to take a little time, um, and we we definitely always got to set our expectations high, especially uh, from one another. We have some great players on our team, some great pieces, and uh, that's what makes us good. So we're just relying on that. Playing hard every single night and leaving it all out there. Ty said he gave you today off. You were supposed to come in. Why didn't you I was not to supposed to be here. Want to go to the beach for a couple days? Um, I didn't want to, uh, you know. And then also I, I had uh, two uh, guys from the Cavaliers, or excuse me, I had J Mac and one of my coaches with me. So I had, I kind of had to get them back as well. So that that worked out. They're with you in the yeah, yeah. No, no, they were with me, and uh, I went down to Sunday Island in Miami. Oh. Yeah, so not island, but you know, the state of Florida. So, but I wanted to be back. It was good to get up and down, man. Um, you know, Sunday was good, but uh, today was even better. Being back in the gym, and um, you know, I wasn't in every drill, but I was definitely out there scrimmaging, trying to get a bucket or two. Yeah, I get to talk to New Orleans. Man, the world was flat. But were you just clowning around, or? <laughs> I, was. I mean, the overall aspect and direction I was going in um, that got. You know, my thoughts got squandered in, in you know, this this uh, this theory, um, understanding what's actually out there, scientifically proven, and uh, you know what everyone believes. Um, you know, for me, I'm comfortable with thinking what I want to think, uh, no matter what, um, and and that's all I was trying to get across. Is um, I think that as human beings, we we always try to downplay the person that always thinks different or that's in a different space, and you know, the fact that it became real live world news was you know that just proved my point right there that that right there was like everything that i said in the podcast and the fact that that was 
what was printed. And, uh, you know, I, I don't mind people using my words at all. I do not. Um, you know, I don't feel like I have to defend myself or anything like that. Now, I mean, it's okay to open your mind a little bit, uh, you know, spread your hopes and, and do research on your own. Um, you know, everyone was, uh, you know, it was like, oh, man, I got so many calls from my friend asking if, the Kyrie, if Kyrie really thinks the world's flat. I mean, does it really matter to the point where it has an effect on your life that much? I no. mean, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, you know, my, my whole thing was just, uh, you know, it was, it was funny. It was hilarious because the, the overall point that I, I was trying to get across got really, really lost. And it, and it shows how much further we have to go as humans in this society. Um, but, yeah, it, it felt like definitely everyone was trying to throw rocks at me, trying to make me feel like, uh, oh, man, is he really... Does he have a brain on top of his head? I mean, I'm, I'm actually, I don't like to be arrogant about it. I, I know a few things, but, uh, you know, it's funny to play around with it. But, I mean, there's some real things going out here in this world rather than what I think about the theory of what the world is flat around. Because so. you, um, you have made some statements uh, away from basketball about some things that are important. Mm -hmm. You know, various protests and police uh, violence. Mm -hmm. You've talked great about that. Do you, do you feel like your statements about these things get enough attention? Is that a point of frustration? I mean, I, I just think that the truth somehow always gets lost uh, because, honestly, if it's not exciting or if it doesn't or if it makes people feel really, really uncomfortable and it, and it puts another human being in a space and everyone starts to attack them because they start thinking differently or they have a different opinion on something and then, you know, they'll they'll chop it up and then they'll... And when I say they, I mean, I just, when, when people are reporting news, it's just, they give us some truth, but they don't give us the whole one. And, and I think that the overall image of what an NBA basketball player is, is it's not just a guy just putting a hoop, making millions of dollars. Um, I think we live very, very real lives with very, very real families and deal with very real everyday things. And um, it has an effect on us. And, and I think that we have a lot to say about it. Um, but they would rather hear about um, who doesn't like who or... Um, you know, I can't believe he said that or something like that in the reaction and gets that. And uh, there are some very, very smart individuals that are um, all across the world. And there are also, you know, athletes, quote unquote. But I don't even put myself in that category. I'm just a normal human being, just doing what I love to do every single day. So. But do you at all have a desire to try and pave the way eventually um, for, for some of the guys that come after you? Pave the way like how? LeBron has always talked about like the greats, and you've talked about the greats paving the way for you and teaching mm -hmm. you things, yeah. and allowing you to have like a bigger voice. Is that something that you aspire to do as well? And, um, and have you always? Well, yeah, I, I think that a lot of my influence on my life, uh, you know, have come from some great players that have come before me, but it, it's more or less come outside of basketball. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of my experiences I got outside just living life and experiencing that. So, um, you know, that that falls very important to me. So it holds a, 